Hi, I'm Dr. Rob Young, a research cellular microbiologist, and I'd like to share with you some of my research on two of the leadest, leading symptoms that, that people are dealing with in the world today, and that's nausea or acid reflux, and of course headaches. Uh, currently in all medical texts that I've researched, there is no pathology or etiology on what causes nausea. And I'd like to share with you uh, the pathway that causes nausea and acid reflux. Not only from the, the, the viewpoint that this can ca be caused by what we eat and what we drink, but what is actually happening in the body even during stressful times when uh, you end up with an upset stomach or uh, nausea or acid reflux just because of maybe how you're feeling or what you're thinking. The chemistry is quite simple. Once we understand that the stomach is not an organ of digestion, but consider a whole new function of the stomach, that the stomach is an organ of contribution. What is its major contribution? Well, chemically, I would like to suggest to you that its major contribution is sodium bicarbonate. Now, I know you've heard that the stomach has acid in it, and that acid is called hydrochloric acid. But the question is, that that's only half of the equation. What happens to the other half of the equation? In other words, if you are producing hydrochloric acid, you're also producing an equal amount of sodium bicarbonate. And what happens to the sodium bicarbonate? Well, a lot of the tests that are done on the stomach, it's called the Heidelberg test, are test tested after someone's had something to drink or after someone's had something to eat. Well, of course, the stomach's going to be uh, a little more acid uh, because what happens is the residues of, of acidity or remain as the sodium bicarbonate is actually taken up uh, by the food because the food has to be in an alkaline state before it can be transformed into stem cells that become our new blood. So the main purpose of the lining of the stomach is to produce sodium bicarbonate. Where does it get the materials for sodium bicarbonate? Well, in order to produce sodium bicarbonate, you have to have salt and that salt is in the form of sodium chloride. And where do you get the salt? Well, you get it from the blood. That's why it's so dangerous to go on a salt-free or, or, or a limited salt diet because the body needs salt in order to produce the number one alkaline buffer, which is sodium bicarbonate. So the stomach pulls in sodium chloride salt from the blood. It also pulls in carbon dioxide from the blood and also water. Well, the combination of those three elements form sodium bicarbonate and hydrochloric acid. Now just as fat separates from water, so sodium bicarbonate rises to the top and separates from the hydrochloric acid. As the hydrochloric acid falls into the gastric pits of the stomach, the sodium bicarbonate rises to meet the food. To do what? Not to digest the food, but to alkalize the food. And so sodium bicarbonate is very, very, very important in raising alkalinity of the food as it moves from the stomach into the duodenum and into the small intestine. The pH of that food will be anywhere from 7 to 7.5 and ultimately 8.4 when it rests in the crypts of the, intest of the intestinal villi of the small intestine, which is the beginning then of the transformation of that liquefied food into stem cells. Well, this is new research uh, that has been, been validated now uh, in studies that stem cells are actually formed in the crypts of the small intestine. And this process cannot take place unless it is taking place in an alkaline environment. So to help people understand the pathway of nausea, nausea is an increase of acidity, just as acid reflux is an increase of acidity due to the body's need for increased amounts of alkalinity. What? To neutralize uh, the acids in our diet and also to neutralize the acids of metabolism. You see, for we are energy uh, consuming beings and when we consume energy, we produce acidic waste products. And when we're in our emotions, even our thoughts, that requires energy and when we use energy, that energy release, consumption releases a waste product, an acid, which has to be neutralized and then eliminated. The body creates a compound known as sodium bicarbonate, uh, which is 
uh, derived from the ingredients from the blood to neutralize that acid and the major organ that is the alkalizing organ that manufactures that sodium bicarbonate is our stomach. So when you feel a little upset and you feel a little uh, uneasy in your stomach or you feel acid reflux or you feel uh, any sort of nausea, that's the stomach or the body's need uh, for sodium bicarbonate and the stomach starting to produce that sodium bicarbonate to meet those demands both in what we're eating, the acids that are coming from what we're eating, and the acids that are coming when we're consuming energy. To support that whole alkaline buffering system, which, is ref which I re uh, uh, have coined to the name for really identifying what is now referred to as the digestive system. I'm actually calling that the alkaline buffering system. I developed a product called Forsols. And the reason I developed this product specifically for salts is to support the stomach in its alkalizing buffering needs. Now, it really does matter what you eat. And it really does matter what you drink and what you think. Because the, the, con the breaking down of food produces acids, the use of energy produces acids, and the body needs help in maintaining that alkaline design because that is the design of our bodies. So this becomes one of the most important products that I've developed because it, the majority of the product is sodium bicarbonate. I've also put another very powerful alkalizer in here called potassium bicarbonate. And I've backed it up with uh, a percentage of calcium carbonate and also magnesium carbonate to round what I call the XCO3s, these four very powerful alkalizing salts to help support the alkaline design of the body and support the alkaline buffering system, specifically the stomach, in its production of sodium bicarbonate to raise the alkalinity of the stomach and to neutralize the hydrochloric acid in the gastric pits of the stomach. When we do this, what happens? Wonderful things happen. No more acid reflux, no more nausea, no more indigestion, you see? Uh, and, 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 and also, no more headaches because headaches begin in the alimentary canal. And as we begin taking these salts, it helps uh, in our eliminations as well. So I have found not only this product to help with our digestion, which is actually an alkaline uh, uh, buffering system, but I also have found that it helps us to lose weight because as we neutralize acid, and we have the means to neutralize that acid by increase of alkaline salts, the body starts releasing its acidity which is held in the fatty tissues. You see, overweight is not a fat problem, it's an over acid problem. And so when we reduce acidity by taking alkaline salts, we can actually start losing weight. And it also helps to make our bowels more regular when we take these salts. So when you're thinking about salt, think about the most four important salts which are contained in this unbelievable product called four salts. Sodium bicarbonate, potassium bicarbonate, magnesium carbonate, and calcium carbonate all combined within one product. I like to take it uh, each day, at least in the morning and before I go to bed. And uh, this is how I, I, I keep my uh, internal fluids alkaline. But I've also recommended it to take it any time that your saliva or your urine drops below 7.2 to help maintain that internal environment which is alkaline.